directly into the into the throttle body. Oh, well, I didn't lock it. I don't need to lock it. And it gives you your RPM, providing that you hook up the yellow wire. It gives you RPM. It gives you a AFR, which is AFU ratio. It gives you your cooling temps uh and a couple other things um uh hey anyway yeah it gives you your your engine vitals <laughs> let's keep it short uh this is a this is a ignition coil driver let's say if you got um maybe a coil on plug i've never had to use one of these i haven't researched what i need to do with them but if you have a coil that actually needs this um oh yeah that makes sense if you have a coil with a a single coil say like an older car like this will have a single coil then this should drive the coil this is a coil driver so you got your battery negative and it's kind of written on there and I'm, it's hard to see but it comes with all the instructions so it tells you the do's and don'ts Oh, and the other thing, it comes with a coolant temperature sensor. This is very important. You need to hook this up because it won't know what to do with your your um with your team. It it won't know the enrichment because it won't know the the, the temperature of your engine. It comes with a baby stylus so you can touch your screen. And this one's black. The last one I did, it was white. Huh. Okay. So Let's put all of this back. Probably won't be packed in like they did, but I'm about to use it anyway, so it don't need to be all nice and where it needs to be. Alright, uh come with uh it comes with this gasket for your your breather and i would highly recommend and i'll show you that in a minute some of the base gasket uh you can extend your warranty card and the vehicle sticker it's just your quick start manual and it shows you everything that you need um yeah see this is the, um gives you the different setups um Whether you got a CDI box, you got a HEI, you got a core. So, yeah. Shows you your angle. Yeah, very important to mount your O2 sensor at a 15 degree angle if possible. 10 to 15 degrees, something like that. That way, when you exhaust sweat, if you have it sideways like this or down like this, when you exhaust sweat, it, it sweats. So, moisture will get inside of this sensor sit around in the components and damage your sensor then you have to buy another sensor you don't want to do that so you want to keep it to where the sensor can actually drain itself uh, if it gets moisture in it so that's why it's very important to mount your sensor at an angle and just just follow the instructions they won't they won't leave you wrong you'll be up and running in no time uh it's like i say once before run those power wires directly to the battery no way else and it's got your quick setup guide your wizard and it's very very intuitive very straightforward um you can mount just about any type of configuration on the the um the throttle linkage so yeah uh let's see do we need to go on anything else on this i don't think we do no, we don't i don't think we do yeah so yeah that's that Stuff never goes back like it's supposed to. So we're just gonna do the best we can. So let's put that up here. Put that there. And set this in here. And we'll close it up for now. Alright. Box number two. And this is another reason I prefer the kit. This is kit number or part number 526-8. And this is the this, 
well that's unfortunate this is the sniper efi fuel system kit without return yeah So that meant I'm gonna have to buy more hose. And I have more fitting, so I'll have to do that. So let's, we got very, very not cheap eBay, third world, don't know who made it type of AN fittings. We have nice stuff, very nice stuff. You know, this buckhead, very nice stuff. I mean, every fitting, every single fitting is nice. Even the clamps. These are not your, these are, let me show you something. So you guys won't make this mistake. When you're doing anything EFI. This is a hose clamp. This is a fuel injection clamp so this thing as you can see a hose clamp has a set right here and when it clamps on a hose it can allow that hose to actually flex and uh you can create a leak because this doesn't actually it just sits up against the hose but it doesn't compresses it so if you use one of these on one of these type of clamps you're going to end up with a leak that's why you need one of these clamps to, you see that? That actually gets on that hose and as the clamp closes, it closes with it. Um, and it, it just, it creates a 360 degree seal when this one does not. So don't use this on your fuel system, especially if you're running fuel injection cause you're gonna be pressured up close to 60 PSI and uh yeah you don't want those leaks because you'll you'll set your car on fire so yeah don't don't use use the right clamps so they provide you with the correct clamps for this fuel injection setup which is beautiful um you get something off ebay or something they'll probably give you some old rinky dink clamps and uh and you'll be in all kind of trouble okay all right fuel filter uh you got fuel filter number one and you got fuel filter number two yes all right very important people <laughs> and holly got it down they 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 know what they're doing they, they got this right. right this is your average this is your average fuel filter you got it in and out and this is a wix wix part number three three zero three three which is a awesome filter this goes before the pump this filters before the pump this filter cannot handle high pressure so don't get them mixed up and confused and put this one after the pump and this one before the pump this one goes directly off of the tank before you even get to your fuel pump that is a low pressure filter uh, if you're running carburetor vehicles, perfectly fine. Fuel injection, before the pump. After the pump, this one. Part number PRD30671. Now, I will say this. The last kit I did, they sent a Wix filter. So, I don't currently have the part number for the actual Wix uh, fuel injection filter. So this is a high pressure filter and you want to be able to um, have a high pressure filter on the opposite side, on the outlet of the fuel pump. All right, now the fuel pump. I'm not sure why they rebranded these. Um, but this was a, I'm thinking they came with a wall bro. But this got a different part number on it. I'm going to have to research this. But anyway, they uh, I'm sure it's a high quality pump. Maybe just rebranded. Um, and it comes with the fuel pump. And if you go to another setup, it would uh, barb the ends, drain back valve, plus 
Um, if you go to a different, you go with a, with a different setup, they don't even include all this stuff with it. They don't give you fuel pump, fuel line, this, that, blah, blah. For 1300 bucks, you can't go wrong. This is a $1,300 kit. Fuel injection. Come with your, uh, your mounts for your pump. So, yeah, that's that. Um, these gaskets are for your bulkhead. So, if you're plumbing your tank or returning your tank, if you don't have a return or a, uh, a feed, you can use this bulkhead. Uh, most people, what they do, uh, if they tanks don't have baffles in them, they take these bulkheads, mount it to the lowest part of the tank, and feed the line under the tank, which I, I'm not gonna do. I'm a, if this tank don't have a baffle, I'll, I, I'm gonna figure something out. Um, because I, I don't wanna put anything under the car, low to the ground, it's a street car, not a race car. So I will use the actual factory pickup and uh, change the, the filter on it, the pre-filter that goes in the tank and go from there. So it has y'all here. Your parts list. Let me show you actually how you plumb it. Um, so there, there you have it. All the instructions are here. Very self-explanatory. How not to route your hoses and stuff like that. And how to route them. How to make your turns. And the radiuses and stuff like that. So yeah, this kit is complete.